I've always said that life is a series of choices and we all dream. We all have these aspirations of where we want to be at a certain point in our life. But if you choose not to strive for those, not to push yourself to the next level, that's on you. That's your series of choices. That's your choice to stop that series. And that's taking you down a completely different path. Welcome back guys. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about reaching our goals for our woodworking business. Exactly how we need to set these up and how to obtain these goals. Okay. So we're talking about goals. Now, a lot of the things that I'm about to say may actually sound a lot like business, which what you're trying to do is start a business or run a successful business. So there is a point to all this where it ties into our making money with woodworking and starting a woodworking business. Okay. What is a goal? It is basically a dream with a deadline. What you want to accomplish within a certain amount of time and you are the one that puts the deadline on yourself. So why do we set goals? We set goals to motivate ourselves, to push ourselves, to strive for something. If you do not have something in your life that you're striving to reach, striving to get to, then it just kind of slips away. So that's why you always have goals in place. But first you have to ask yourself, why am I setting these goals? Why do I want to get to this point? You have to have a purpose, a reason, okay? And everybody's reason is different. So I started off right out of high school to help supplement my income. And my goal was like 50 bucks a week. An extra $50 a week will help me pay these bills. As I advanced, my goals changed. So my goal may be to make an extra couple thousand dollars a year to pay for a family vacation. And then that advanced. As I could easily reach those goals, it change to I would like to do a family vacation and have an adult only vacation and a lot of times with a big family especially like mine you cannot afford it but through side hustling setting my goals I've never not one time had to take a single penny out of savings out of any of my other budgets because I always met the goals that I had set for myself. and then once you have determined why you're actually setting this goal then set the goal I like to set my goals in different levels it's almost like a goal ladder okay so I have my long-term goals and then I have my short-term goals and then I have my mid tier so a short-term goal will be something like by the end of the week or the end of the month I'd like to get this done my mid tier goals are going to be yearly. I always have a yearly goal for everything. I would like to get to this level and that's typically what I post around. You've heard me talk about it before. Once you have found your goal, once you have set your goal, make it visible. We'll dive into that here in a minute. And then your long-term goals are going to be where you see yourself five years from now. And then you have to figure out the steps that it's going to take to get to that five-year goal. But goals can change through time, but I always like to keep my long-term goal set until it is met. And as soon as I meet that goal, I'm setting another one higher. So when you're setting your goals, it's kind of a fine point. You do not want to set them too low because you're not going to push yourself hard enough. And you, you do not want to set them so high that they're unobtainable. Make them obtainable goals, but make them where you have to work for them, okay? Nothing comes free. We've talked about this before. It all comes through hard work, sweat, and putting your heart into it. Make your goals very specific. Do not say something like, I want to be rich, period. That's just a blanket statement. You know, that's not a goal. A goal would be, I'd like to make enough money on the side to drop down to part-time at my full-time job. And that could be your long-term goal. You know, your short-term goals could be, I'd like to make enough money on the side to take that extra vacation. Again, everyone's goals will be different because everyone has different needs and different wants. Make sure that your goal is something that you're passionate about. Because if you're not passionate about your goal, where you want to be in five years, where you want to be in a year, you're just going to let it slide by. You're not going to put in the blood, sweat, and tears that it requires to meet these goals, especially if you're still working full time. So make it something that you are passionate about. I'm passionate about woodworking and I'm passionate about teaching. This is why I do this. And that is what helped me to reach my latest. Goal. So I want to share a goal of mine that I had whenever I started this channel. Started this channel seriously about a year ago. My personal goal for the channel was to earn this. Okay, so don't get me wrong. It wasn't to earn this plaque, but my goal was to reach 
a hundred thousand people. A year ago, I never would have dreamed of reaching a hundred thousand people, but that was my goal. That was my long-term goal. It came quicker than expected. And we're going to talk about things like this, what to do when that happens. But my goal was for a hundred thousand people that I could reach and teach. This is just a symbol of that. And this is because of you guys. You guys are awesome. This is ours. So this is our woodworking community. We earned this. So give me some ideas, drop them in the comments. What can we do with this thing? But let's do something interesting with it. I don't want to just, you know, hang it on the wall or, you know, have it in the background or whatever. Let's do something creative with it. But thank you so much for being a part of this community and supporting me and this channel through all of this. Without you guys, this would not exist. This channel would not exist. And we could not continue to teach people. And that is why we do this. We need to teach people so they can teach people and keep this craft, keep this trade, and keep this knowledge going. I'm going to do my part. You do your part. And let's work together to smash our goals. So there's an acronym in business called SMART. It is for obtaining goals. And it stands for Specific, Measurable, obtainable, relevant, and time-bound. Smart. Okay, so if you think about each one of those things, it makes perfect sense. They have to have a specific goal, and we've talked about that. It has to be a measurable goal, so you have to be able to see if you're getting close to meeting that goal, if you've met the goal, or succeeded the goal. It has to be attainable. Do not set your goals too high or you'll never get there. It has to be relevant. This is the R. Okay, it has to be something that you're passionate about. Why is this relevant? Why do you want to set this goal? Why do you want to do what you're about to do? And it has to be time bound. There has to be a deadline for this. You have to have the deadline. I want to reach this goal by this and you will make yourself do it. And that is what is going to push you to do it and write all of these down. If you're working out of your garage, you have a whiteboard in your garage and you have your goal on there in plain sight with a date. I want to make, throwing some numbers out there, $10,000 on the side in the next six months. $10,000 on the side in the next year. Whatever your goal is, write it down, put it on your refrigerator. We've talked about this. Every time you go to the refrigerator, you will open it up, you will see that goal, and it's gonna remind you, okay? Put it in several different places, but my favorite place to put one is on the bathroom mirror. That way, whenever you get up in the morning, you're getting dressed, you've gotten out of the shower, you're brushing your teeth, whatever, you look at that mirror and you see your goal. But what else do you see? You're seeing your reflection because you are the only one that can prevent this goal from happening. Because 99% of the time, meeting a goal is a mindset. It's where you accept failure. Failure is not an option whenever you're trying to reach these goals. And once you get that mindset, once you get that motivation, the sky's the limit. You will meet that goal and you will exceed it. But you have to want it. You have to be able to pour your heart into it. And yes, you are going to have setbacks. You are going to have haters with this because I want you to share these goals with people because they're going to help keep you accountable. Now you have told someone your goal. Now you really have to work towards it because they are expecting you to hit this goal. They're curious. They want to see if you can hit it. You already know that you can hit it because you have the right mindset. The biggest hater out there for what you are about to do will be yourself. And it's getting down on yourself. If you do not feel like that you're meeting these goals as quickly as you would like, you get down on yourself. I can't do this, I might as well quit. I get so many comments and DMs from people that are having a hard time selling one product that they have made. It didn't work out, you know, nobody's buying this, so on and so forth. Well, don't dwell on it as a failure, use that. Use that, look at it, stand back and just take a minute and look at it because sometimes we can get so wrapped up in meeting our goals, we get the tunnel vision and we don't see everything else that is happening around us. So step back, look, ask yourself, why did I not meet that goal? Why did this not happen? Why is this not selling? What can I do to change things? You know, is the market flooded for this item? It's gonna be different everywhere. If the market is flooded for that item, then make something else. Or like we've talked about, Think divergently, make your so unique, people will have to have it. Do not get down on yourself, throw a pity party and just give up. Statistically, that's what about 75% of people do. 
75% of any type of a business is going to fail within the first five years. And most of the time it's because they give up. Your most successful business people in the world have failed over and over before they finally succeeded because they step back, they change things up, and they've met their goals. Bill Gates, his first business failed, tanked, did nothing. Did he give up? No. He went on now as one of the richest people on earth. Walt Disney. Walt Disney was fired from his first job for being unoriginal. They told him he was not creative enough. He was actually a writer for a newspaper. Milton Hershey from Hershey Candy Bars. Everybody's heard of those. I think I may have heard of them too many times, but he failed three different candy businesses before he actually started the one that succeeded. He never gave up. And that same principle goes to you as well. If you set your goal and you fall a little short, figure out why. Stand back, take a look at it. But to help prevent that, we are going to develop a plan for this goal. So now we have our different goals and we're developing plans to reach each level of this goal ladder, okay? So with your plans in place, this will help you. And you need to have alternative plans. And these plans can change. The goal does not deviate, not unless you have determined absolute, unreachable, unobtainable, but the plans can change and need to change to obtain this goal. And a part of that planning is identifying potential obstacles. So what may keep me from uh, reaching this goal? Let's say that, again, that your goal was to earn the extra $10,000 in a year, you know, as a side hustle. What will keep me from doing that? Well, my kids are in sports or I don't have the right tools, I don't have this. Know this up front, that way whenever you set your goals, you do not set them to where they're unobtainable. And ultimately, how much time, how much effort, and how much passion that you put into this is going to be up to you. And if you do not reach this goal, and you have to bring it down a notch. Do not blame it on anyone but yourself. You have to figure out why you did not reach that go. Do not say that it was the economy. Do not say people just aren't buying my products. You could have changed that when you noticed this stuff happening, okay? That's why I say set obtainable goals, set long-term goals. That way that you have time in between to change things up to meet that long-term goal. So you have your goals in place. You have your long-term, your short-term. You have the determination. You have the motivation to do this. The next thing that is gonna happen is fear is going to set in. Being afraid of failure is the number one reason why people do not do anything with their life. They will sit at home and they will think about the things that they've always wanted to do the freedom that they've always wanted to have, but they're too afraid of failure. If you let fear run your life, you will never succeed at anything. Like I said, it's in here. Failure will not be an option. Yes, you may have small setbacks. That's not a failure. A failure is you've decided to completely stop, quit, I'm done, I'm gonna go lay back on the couch. That's a failure, you've given up on your goal, which we discussed at the beginning, a goal is a dream, okay? a dream on a timeline. You've now given up on your dream because of fear. So fear is controlling your destiny, what you need to be, what you're designed to be, and what you are passionate about. But it takes a lot of work. There is a lot of stress and a lot of being fluid. You have to change with things as they change, just like the price of wood changing right now. You may have to change your business model, your business plan, how to reach this goal. Well, now I can't make this because the material's too high, the profit margin's too low. So now let's make this. That's what I'm talking about, being fluid to obtain these goals. And when you do reach that goal, even if it's your short-time goal, it feels good. And that is what is going to motivate you even more to set your goal higher and then set your goal higher. And before you know it, I mean, you're just rolling with it. Ideas are flowing. And this one step of this whole business model will actually give you the motivation to end up where you want to be in business or in life. So get motivated, get excited about these goals because it is exciting. It doesn't just provide the vacation or the $10,000 a year on the side that whatever your goal is set for, it provides self-worth. And that means more than anything. So set your goals. You have the basic guidelines through that. I just gave it to you. Put those into place. Implement these things. Do not delay. Start it now. Grab a notebook. Start writing some ideas down. Get to work on this. If you delay on doing this, then you probably won't do it. So 
Start it now. You do not want to be that person late in life looking back on what they could have done, what they should have done, or what they wish they have done. Now is your time to do it, and you're perfectly capable of doing it. I know this video has probably been a little bit of preachy, I guess, um, but that's how I roll. I'm passionate about this. I'm passionate about people. I believe in people, even when they do not believe in themselves. You are the only one that can keep you from success, so go out there, guys. Do not be afraid of failure. Do not be afraid of anything. Go. I hope that you've enjoyed this video. If you've taken anything from it, if you have anything to add to it, drop it into the comments. Do not forget to smash that subscribe button. I'm gonna be mixing things up. I'm gonna be throwing in the business stuff like this. I'm also gonna be doing the different builds, have all kinds of stuff. Or if there's anything in particular that you would like to see, drop them in the comments or shoot me a DM. It's possible, guys. My five-year plan happened in a year. You've got this, guys. Until next time, get that business plan going, set your goals, set your long-term goals, set your short-term goals, and start that ladder for success. See ya. Geese. Loud geese. Like I said.